Welcome to this uh, new video on uh, demystifying AI. So now we have seen in the previous one that there are two different kinds of AI. One that is based on recognition, it's 99% of AI today, and the other one that is based on reasoning. And the question is, okay, in what is it different? And is there really things based on, on reasoning? I mean, mimicking reasoning part of the human brain. So let's first have a look at recognition. Well, recognition, it's AI that you know already, I'm sure. It's, for example, you're, you, you take an X-ray image and you want to know if there is a, a lung cancer. So this is, this in this AI is able to, because it has learned on a lot, a lot, a lot of X-ray image, and it's being able to do much better than experts, medical doctors. Another one is if you want to do uh, automatic subtitles in videos. Well, once again, having learned on many, many videos how to recognize the human voice and the sound and the words and transforming that into text, it's ex exactly recognition, recognizing the words. Or in the industry, for example, uh, when you do what is called predictive maintenance. So you have a machine, you have a lot of sensors in this machine, you look at a lot of data in this machine, and you have learned from the past, from data from the past on this machine, when in which situation where when there is a pattern in the data that says that oh maybe in three hours four hours tomorrow i don't know there will be a failure on this machine so here you see that's what is is based um, uh, recognition based artificial intelligence but what about the reasoning part well there are some examples today if you want to do a planning you want to plan and organize you know a group to do some something well you can use tools that are going not to recognize something, but to build something that will be a good planning based on your constraints. So that's AI that's based on reasoning because you have to reason to be able to provide such, uh, such a planning. Or more generally uh, in the domain that is called decision intelligence, when you want help humans to make better decisions or to automate decisions, for example, what is the best decision to make for your patient that has unfortunately lung cancer? Well. You have learned from data from this AI that there is lung cancer, but now you have to make a decision on the treatment on how to, to, to do it, how the, the body is going to react. And this is not data. This is really reasoning. Uh, and some ex systems um, exist uh, that are doing that. Or another example in the domain of, uh, let's say, supply chain for, for the industry. Well, assume that what you want is to optimize your air freight and your ocean freight, you know, for your supply chain. Of course, air freight is much faster if you want to provide the goods to your customer. So that customer satisfaction can be very high, but it's much expensive, much more expensive than ocean um, ocean freight so it, you have a very complex system with all your supply chain and you have to do some reasoning to be able to find the best possible way to serve your customer but of course to increase your profit to increase uh, quality of service and all this and all that so for that there are ai systems that are able to do that but they're based on reasoning and if you look at these two things where well, recognition uh, the recognition part, you can realize that is really based on data. You have looked at data from the past, a lot, a lot of data of X-ray image or of videos or for this machine and the data from the past. And you learn knowledge about what you consider based on this data. That's what we call data based AI. You learn from data. The other one for planning or decision intelligence for to make decisions in medicine or for your supply chain, it's different because you have not a lot of knowledge about that. You have a lot of knowledge about your supply chain, a lot of knowledge about human and how the human can react to some medicines or, and, and, and you have this knowledge. And the idea is to put this knowledge in a system and based on this knowledge, make reasoning or simulation or putting all that together to be able to reason to find the best solution. So you have these two things, recognition based on data. Uh, reasoning based on knowledge. So you take knowledge and you build new knowledge based on that. Rather, in the other case, you take data and you try to create knowledge from data. And that's different. Well, so now we are going to end this one, this video. And there are two questions and there will be two videos uh, associated to, to, to that that can follow. One is, OK, but what about chat GPT and generative AI? Everybody is talking about that. You may have tried it. Where does it stand? I stay, say in the previous video 
that is probably on the recognition part. So you can follow and look at this video if you want. The other one is, well, are there systems doing both like us, doing at the same time recognition and reasoning put together? Well, that's what will be discussed in this other video. Thank you very much.